mission of the Minnesota Nano Center is to provide an open environment where people can do applied nanotechnology. That applies to groups around the University of Minnesota, other academic institutions, and researchers from industry. The center offers two complete clean rooms that allow people to fabricate very small scale devices, things like integrated circuits or electronics, microelectromechanical sensors or MEMS, microfluidic devices, all kinds of small scale devices using a full lithographic tool set. A clean room is essential anytime you want to craft a device or fabricate something that is extremely small. So typically when you're making devices that have features down less than a few microns in size, it's, it's essential to work in a clean room where the air is continuously filtered, the particles are removed, and the clean room is very steady against any sort of vibration which might also damage what you're trying to make. Our clean room has a number of tools for the processes of lithography. The lithography is essentially the process of applying a very thin film of metal or other materials on a substrate, patterning that film to reflect the type of structure you want to make, and then etching the patterned structure so that whatever you don't want gets removed, leaving behind the, the structures that you want in your device. The future of nanotechnology is bright, simply because it's such a broad-ranging technology. It, a, a number of future advanced devices and materials are going to grow out of our work in nanotechnology. So I encourage engineering and science students to have at least some passing familiarity with, with nanoscience and nanotechnology. Mechanical engineers have really been leaders in this area in terms of making devices smaller, more reliable, having a broader application set. A lot of mechanical engineers are working in nanoparticle related fields. A number of them are active in the miniaturization of mechanical devices, microelectromechanical systems, which are found in many, many applications now. So lots and lots of interest in the area of nanotechnology. In the past, I expect it to be the same in the future.